Okay, so we're going to start off with a clean bowl. We're going to put in plain flour. You want to put in one cup of the plain flour or the all-purpose flour. So my spoon here, I'm going to need four scoops of, and that is equivalent to one cup. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the cornmeal. Okay, so we're going to do one tablespoon of sugar. And this is optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. Okay, bicarbonate of soda. You can do half a teaspoon. Okay, half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, baking powder. So you can do two teaspoons, and this is optional. It just makes the corn bag fluffier. Okay, so this is an important step. You want to grease your pan and put it in the oven. So if you don't have um, a skillet, you could just use a pan like we're using, and it's nine inches. Okay, we're going to whisk this all together so you can't see the separation anymore. Okay, we're going to be cracking two eggs. I always crack them in a separate container just in case some of the shell breaks off. You're having a hard time getting it out of the batter if you've done it straight in there. And unfortunately, I do that a lot, so I always do it separately. Okay, we're going to create a little lower spot for the eggs to go in so it just sits in the center. I like this way, it just helps me mix it. I always do it. Okay, now we're going to add in our buttermilk. So we're going to be doing a total of one and a half cups. I put a little bit more in there, but the instructions say to do one and a half cups. Okay, now that's in there, let's give it a little mix. So once this gets mixed a little better, I'm going to add in our half a cup of unsalted melted butter, or if you went with the bacon drippings. I just microwave my butter. You could use the, you could cook it on the stove, but microwave's easy enough for me. Okay, now we're gonna pull out that skillet or that nine inch pan that we used and then we were already pre-buttered. Yeah, so this pre-greasing or buttering is actually going to give the cornbread a nice texture, nice crisp outside, nice soft center. Okay, it's going to be baking at 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. You want to bake about 20 to 23 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean when you give it a poke. Please subscribe and like our videos. On Mondays, we're going to try and do a dog video. On Tuesdays, we do a food video. On Wednesdays, we do either a car or a travel video. Thursdays, we do a workout video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.